Good day, everyone. How are you today? It is Bordeaux Rose here. I am coming on to give you an update on this powder. Is it sideways? Crayon case, chalk dust, um, setting powder in the color N as in Nancy. Okay. But before we start, you know, I got to blend this out as usual. And I want to say, please, if you can, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Don't forget. Okay, don't forget. But my base is already done. I just um, applied my concealer maybe like a minute ago. And I like to do that Jackie Ina dry down. So, you know, I figure I'll use that time to turn on the camera and just introduce myself and to let you know what we're gonna be reviewing today. Now, just a little bit about this powder. Let me double check the price for you. I believe it was 18 bucks. Actually, it was 20 bucks. It was $20. Um, I applied it yesterday in my, in my video where I demoed it, um, my little haul or whatever. And I wanted to come back and focus just on the powder because uh, I think that everybody would want to know how it really performs. Man, I'm having trouble. Like maybe I'll let my, my concealer dry down too much. But I figure everybody wants to, oh, and this is one of the eraser sponges that the Crayon Case sells, two for $3. Their shipping is crazy fast. Like I promise you I get their stuff max. No, I'm gonna say two days. Yeah, it is definitely two days. I say max three because I don't review it until that third day, but I order it and it comes two days later, okay? And then I review it after. This time I took a little longer to review it because I had went out of town, so I just didn't have time to do it. But um, I get their stuff in two days, all right? One day I order, two day, one day, second day it ships. And then I um, and then I review it, okay? So far, I've been like really loving all the products. I have not found one product um, in the crayon case that I was not very um, in love with, that I was not satisfied with. I have not found one product yet, okay? Okay. Even when I first did that Watch Me Blush palette, when I first ordered that, I was in love with that as well. So. I think this brand is very consistent. I feel like this concealer is not looking right. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I let it dry down too much, but let me put just some, maybe I used the wrong color. I don't know, but I don't like it. I'm going to just put a little dot here. Okay. Because for some reason it feels, and I'm using the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer today. The color is deep chestnut, just FYI if you wanted to know that. Normally I have no problem with it, but I don't know if I let, I think I let it dry down too long before I started to blend it out. But now I'm not gonna let it dry out, dry down long. But like I was saying, I already did my, um, my foundation and all that good stuff. Anyway, like I was saying, this setting powder is $20. The one problem that I found with the website, it was kind of hard to tell the tone of the colors of the conceit of the of concealer or powder you know and i wish that you know that's the one thing i would ask is that they try to find a way to show us the colors a little bit better that's the only thing that i the only drawback i do find with this brand it's hard to find your complexion colors and certain things but anyway here it is i'm gonna apply it for you so you can see, or yesterday I had taken out the sifter because I prefer to just get right to the powder. But today I'm gonna actually knock some out of there, like so. The color is very yellow, um, but I wanna show you what it looks like, okay? It almost reminds me of when I see people, cause I don't have the product, but when I see people use the, um, Sasha Buttercup powder. What it's what it reminds me of, but I've never used it, so I don't know if it performs the same. I will tell you right now that this powder performs amazing. It doesn't leave any chalky 
residue behind. You know, it's, it keeps your under eyes nice and creaseless all day long. And I just love the undertone of the yellow. At first, I was a little concerned about it because I thought maybe it was a little too deep in yellow for my complexion. But actually, um, it does work really well. It looks really good over my foundation and my concealer. Um, the only other thing that I don't like about it is I don't like this top. So when I try, it doesn't turn. So when I travel with it, same thing with the um, Cody Airspun, same thing, it does this. I, I don't like that because I like to travel. Um, not that I like to, sometimes I absolutely have to, but I prefer something like this, you know? Like, because I know it's not gonna spill all out on my stuff, you know what I mean? So that's the only thing that I would say I don't like about it. But I do want you to see what the color looks like on my under eyes so you can have an idea. I'm gonna brush it off now. I would, the one thing I will say is I wouldn't suggest like baking with this for too long. Cause if you bake it for too, too long, it will get stuck under your eyes. I noticed yesterday um, that I didn't leave it on long. Like even right now, I didn't leave it on long and look at it it is there honey ain't no amount of brushing that off it's gonna brush that off <laughs> like completely you know it doesn't just come right off of your face okay so that's what i really like i really i really like it 20 dollars, i think is a fair price i mean there's powders out there for 30 odd dollars 40 odd dollars 50 odd dollars and more and i think that this is great because i can get it in two days you know, like I was saying before, shipping prices aren't out of whack. They're not crazy. I didn't pay any special shipping price to get it here in two days. It was their standard thing. Their quality control is amazing. You know, they check off everything. They sign it to make sure that everything is correct. And I think that's great because with this, this chalk setting powder, it says chalk setting, chalk dust setting powder, letter N could be mistaken for an M. They could pick up the wrong thing, you know, when they're pulling the eye, when they're pulling the order, and it could easily have come as an M or an M or an O or something because somebody's not paying attention. But the fact that they check each item off and they sign it lets me know that I, I ain't got to worry, girl, whatever I order is gonna come. I can plan for it and I'm good to go, okay? So I just wanted to come back and give you that quick update about this product um the crayon case chalk setting powder and the letter n just in case you skipped around here i'm repeating it again sometimes i repeat myself because i know that people skip through so i just wanted to mention it again this is what the color looks like it's a deep deep yellow color um i thought at first that it'd be best for darker skin people than i am but it actually worked for me just fine and i'm like i'm a brown you know complexion i'm a brown girl you know brown deep you know so anyway thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup because i do have a couple other things to um review for you a lipstick and i do want to review this highlighter okay by the crayon case but i really want to make separate videos so that people can go right to it all right well thank you so much for watching positive vibe don't forget like subscribe share all that good stuff bye-bye